So Beyonce once said, if you like something, you need to put a ring on it. And guys, today, I'm gonna put a ring on it. <laughs> so just in case you didn't get the message, and you didn't see the title, and you didn't see the thumbnail, I'm proposing to Ryan in this video. <laughs> so those of you that have been around a while, and those of you that are very new, me and Ryan have been together for seven years, and it has honestly, hand on heart, been the best seven years of my life. When we met back in 2015, it feels like a lifetime ago. We were two completely different people, and we've basically gone through most of our 20s growing up into the people we are today, and it's just been the most incredible journey I could have ever have wished to be on with someone. We met on Tinder, we started living in a student house, we then got a dog, we then moved in together into our own house, we started social media, and I just cannot, I actually cannot believe that this is my life and I get to share it with Ryan. I just have to say before I say anything else, Ryan, I literally love you so much. And I literally cannot believe that I get to call you my boyfriend, my partner, my soulmate, my best friend, and everything that we've achieved together, all the adventures, all the highs, all the lows, I would never, ever want it to be with anyone else and you are so special to me and I love you just so so much. You're my best friend, you're my soulmate, and I honestly cannot wait to start forever with you. And for those of you that don't know Ryan personally, if you've only known him as online Matthew and Ryan, he is the most amazing, sweet, caring, incredible, adventurous, person you could ever ever meet and I'm so so I'm literally the luckiest guy in the world that I get to call him mine. It might have taken seven years to get to this point of him getting the ring that he's always wanted but I've known literally from day one that this 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 is it this is you are the one and I cannot wait for us to just be together forever grow old together get saggy faces. But I do have a tiny feeling that Ryan thinks that I'm gonna propose in Japan because before we left in the UK, I actually did get his ring size a few weeks ago and kind of looked at rings to scout out what he wanted because as we all know, he's very particular and if I was to get him a huge diamond or something that was too blingy, I feel like he would say he liked it but secretly be like, oh no, I've got this forever. <gasps> And I also think he expects it in Japan because he's continuously cutting his nails on this trip. <laughs> and before I go any further, I have to do a big shout out to my nan who actually came with me to get the ring and we had it delivered to her house because obviously we couldn't have it delivered to our house. And she was really like a secret detective and was just the best nan ever for keeping it. And um, just thank you so much, nan, if you're watching this. <laughs> so we're coming to the end of our Japan trip now. We've been here for like, three weeks, three and a half weeks, and I've had to keep this ring in shared luggage a secret. It's been in my bag, Ryan's been in the bag, it's been in my coat, Ryan's been feeling my coat. It has been the biggest stress, and I can't tell you, my OCD has been so bad because when we've been walking around Japan, I've just been like, has it gone, has it gone? But luckily, it hasn't gone. Now where to do it in Japan has been a bit of an issue because Ryan's favourite place in Japan is a place called Yujinaka and it's where the snow monkeys are, it's in the mountains, it's really traditional and it's really magical. But because it's so special to him, when we were there, I did think I was going to propose there, but it just kind of didn't feel right. You know in your gut, you would have to listen to your gut and my gut was like, this isn't the place that you should propose to him. So we got on the train after our little stay there and left and I was kind of like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I just wanna add, there is so much pressure when you're gonna propose to someone. And I just wanted to make sure it was perfect and it was just about me and him and nothing else and the whole situation was just the best, the best it could be. And then we reached Lake Kamaguchiko, which is where Mount Fuji is. And as soon as we got there, I was like, this is the place. Like it is so beautiful and breathtaking. But on the day of proposal, I kid you not, everything was going wrong. So when we arrived, it was literally the cloudiest day in the world and we were like, where's Mount Fuji? And that was the day I was gonna do it so we could enjoy our three days there as an engaged couple. And then the next day, we got up super early and there's a pagoda which is like, it's just so iconic. It's like a temple with Mount Fuji in the background. And I, we were riding up there, my heart was beating. I took the ring and put it into my trouser pocket. I was like, this is it. 
and then the sun was literally in the worst direction possible. And I know that sounds really, really ridiculous, but I, we obviously want to have photos and pictures and videos of the special moment. And it just wasn't, it just wasn't happening. Half of us were, we were, it was just so bad, we were in shadow. And because it was a temple as well, I didn't know if that was, the vibe just didn't seem right. And then we went up the mountains, and again, I thought it was the most beautiful place ever. And then I was just about to pop the question, I was shaking, and Ryan says, I don't really like it in this bit. Should we go down on our bike? And I just thought, oh my God, this can't be happening. So the whole day we're cycling around this lake. Ryan's loving life, doesn't have a clue what's going on. I'm like my hot, my armpits are wet. I'm sweating. I'm like, this has to be the day. Like it's beautiful weather. We might never get this situation again. And I'm looking around, like trying to scout a place. Really honestly, the most stressful day of my life. And then as we were cycling, the sun was setting, my timer was coming to an end and I just thought, it's not happening today. And then we stumbled across this tiny beach and my whole body was like, yes, this is it. Obviously by this point, Ryan still has no idea. So I'm like, let's get a really nice video of us jumping up and down and we're jumping and we're practicing and we're jumping and we're practicing. After lots of jumping up and down, it was the time that me and Ryan had been waiting for for so long. I was finally going to propose to the love of my life. <laughs> what's your biggest worry? My nails. <laughs> you can't get it. You didn't nails. cut your nails. How are you feeling? Oh, hold on, I can't call you anymore. I can call you fiance. <laughs> I actually did not expect this right now. I thought I was actually in shock. I'm so in shock. Wow. I'm in shock. The whole thing's been so stressful. Seven years. It's taken seven years to get a ring. And we're finally engaged. At Mount Fiji. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Did you really not know? Um, Bible, I didn't know. Bible. I thought it might have been Udanaka, and then I thought it might have been like, um, where else it? This morning, and then I was like, he's not doing it, he's not going to do it. So then I was like, you know what, I'm not going to bother cutting my nails. I mean, <laughs> look so gross. I've got calluses, I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> Oh wow, I was not expecting that. I thought, we're we're really, I, I thought we were just doing videos right now. We're engaged. Oh my god, where did the plan? And it's the ring that I wanted. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Let's go, fiance. <laughs> the swans have come to say congratulations. Oh, I love Good marriage to come. <laughs> First drink is an engaged couple. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> so in the town of Mount Fiji or Lake Kamaguchi where we're staying There isn't many places to eat Like it, everything closes because all the tourists leave yeah. and You don't really come for food do you? So we're basically coming to a diner to celebrate But I don't care Because we're, we're engaged! <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're just about to leave Lake Kamaguchiko and this is where it all took place. Bye. This is where... I got my ring. You got your ring and we made a pledge that we're gonna get married! And be together forever and ever. And ever and ever. So just know that I love you so, so much and I can't believe I call you my fiance. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> We're engaged! Yeah! <laughs> I mean, we're actually like taking the mick out of each other of how we were like basically Matthew proposed to me, and it was just like silence and like. And then I was waiting for Matthew to actually put, ask the question after he got on one knee. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> but although it is super misty, you can kind of still see Mount Fiji. We'll never, ever, ever forget this little beach. All the, all the glass. It, I mean, it looks nice on camera, but it is literally probably like the worst tiny little beach it ever. Probably the worst beach <laughs> in Mount Fiji, but it's bang on the centre of Mount Fiji, so you, you know you just can't have it all, can you? I mean, I'm happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> But thank you so much for letting me share this special moment with my fiance, with you guys here on YouTube. I know we've done a lot of pranks and stuff in the past, but, this but is real. I can't believe that we're actually engaged. We've got a wedding to plan. <laughs> but as always, if you want to be part of the Matthew and Ryan family, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. Give it a big, big thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment <laughs> down below. And don't forget to subscribe. But we love you guys <laughs> so much and... Oh my god, let's have an engagement party! <laughs> ah! Go on, fiance, we've got some exploring of Japan to let's do. Go this way. Come on! <laughs>